I have something I'd like to give you. I have a list with over 50 niche website ideas and I like to send it to you. I have all the good advices at will. As well, I'd like to show you how I do my keywords research and that's for free and other stuff on how to get your site easily onto Google in Analytics 4 and a lot of other stuff. So there's no download for this. There's no PDF for anything. You just get this in your inbox. I guess you know the drill. I use ConvertKit for that. So there's an unsubscribe link in the bottom of every email. So if you don't like what I send you, you can just unsubscribe. There's a link below here to get the 15 niche website ideas. And then for the case study videos, I've decided when we been, we've been traveling for, for a month and uh, I've had a good time to think about what I want to do with my online business. And I've decided to give it another year. So the two months are gone now, so 10 months is still left. And I'd like to uh, give it a try. Uh, uh, when we get back to the office, I'll, I'll show you the numbers. They're not quite that interesting anymore, but uh, I'll, I'll show you anyways. So I've been talking about making a checklist on what I should do with uh, the articles on the site, how I update them and, and how I think I'm going to, to get them back into ranking and, and how I'm handling the, the helpful content update. So I've been playing around with the ChatGPT, as many of you <laughs> might have been as well, uh, and wondering what we can, can use that for in, in blocking. So I don't think that we can get it to write really good content. It's, it's basically just a very advanced article spinner and that is not going to help anybody. So I will be putting videos out about that. So if that's something you're interested in, you should subscribe, of course. But I have um, been playing with making the algorithm in the ChatGPT um, make evaluations of my content. So I think this makes a lot of sense. Uh, if Google is an algorithm why not let another algorithm decide and tell me directly what I should focus on in my articles. So I've been working on the prompt for ChatGPT uh, for it to, to evaluate my articles and it, it, it's looking promising. I'm not quite there yet, but if you're interested in how I uh, do SEO audit with the chatbot, then uh, uh, definitely subscribe because there's coming videos out about about that the coming month. I also want to try to push myself a little to make great content here for YouTube and uh, for that I'm going to post a video every single day in the month of April. That's going to be a lot of content about online business, uh, my thoughts on that and of course I'm going to, to be uh, newer, nuanced as I'm trying to be, uh, not just hyping everything for the positive things on online business, but also talking about some of the, the negative sides. I'm also going to show you how I use uh, Google Analytics 4. I've been uh, wondering uh, how to, to get the most out of it and how to get it to look uh, a bit what we are used to in the Google and uh, universal Google Analytics. So if you're interested in upping your game and be pre being prepared for when Google Analytics 4 is, uh, is going to take over, <laughs> then, then uh, subscribing might also be, be a good idea. So there's coming more case study videos. I'm going to share my to-do checklist for optimizing online content. I will be sharing how I use the ChatGPT uh, with a single prompt making uh, audits on articles and then I'm going to uh, make some helpful content on Google Analytics 4. So if any of that interests you, you should of course subscribe. 
And if you want my list with 50 article, 50 niche website ideas, subscribe on the link down below. And now I'm almost home at the office. I'll just quickly show you the numbers on Search Console and analytics for the case study. So let's have a look at Search Console. As I've shown you before, everything is pretty steady, low and steady. Only a couple of press impressions a day and nothing much to write home about. If we look at analytics, it's again fairly stable. And once again, it's because most of the traffic is still coming from Bing. So yeah, boring. If we look at earnings, it's, uh, well, boring again. It's, it's the beginning of the year, January and February is down. February is only 28 days and it's in the beginning of the year. Uh, people are coming out of the Christmas shopping. So it, nothing much to worry about here, but we are uh, down to what? $3 or so. So that's uh, pretty bad. So if we go back here, this is, this is completely uh, devastating to, to look at. But this is the reality. But I have told you what I am going to do. And if you're up for it, and if you want to see some of the reality in the blogging space, this is the channel for you. I hope you find it interesting and want to subscribe. See you next time. Take care.